Hey, welcome to the Army Roundtable. Today is the 9th of November, 2022, and we have a special guest, uh, George Dean, and uh, Dave Thomas is joining. Uh, George uh, stole Dave away to uh, learn how to trade uh, day trade futures, and uh, Dave's been doing that for, I guess, about a year, Dave, um, if I'm correct. Uh, that's right. That's right. Um, but George, we're really happy to have you here. Um, I checked out George's site, and um, it's just really, really interesting information, uh, very powerful. And uh, I thought you guys would uh, enjoy seeing what George is up to and uh, maybe even uh, swing over there and uh, you know, join yourself and see how it looks. But uh, with that, George, uh, welcome and uh, nice to have you here and uh, take it from here. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you a lot. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to tell you how I learned all this. You can go learn it all yourself for free on YouTube. Um, one of my first members likes to joke that I found some obscure guy on YouTube that actually has an edge in day trading. And you go through the hundreds of hours of videos he's got, and he does have an edge. So I took what he was doing and um, combined it with a couple other things, which I'll tell you here in a minute, and created the system that just flat out works. Um, Basically, we're bounce traders. So what that means, let me enlarge this. What that basically means is I'm we're, we draw lines like this line here, this horizontal line here. When price gets there, we play the bounce. We're bounce traders. We draw lines. And typically, that is where people are going to defend price, sending price the opposite direction. So it hits our line. It bounces. We trade the bounce. I have no clue if that bounce is going to be one point or with proper trade management, it's going to be a hundred point swing. I don't know the, what, how far it's going to bounce. I just know with 92% accuracy, it's going to bounce. Now, one of the neat things is uh, Tom had mentioned this group to several people um, in Aramir already, and several have joined in the last week and on the Zoom this morning because we trade live on Zoom together. I said, was I accurate that 90% of these lines will bounce? And they all said, yes. Um, it's weird to hear some guy on the internet tell you that. And you're like, yeah, right, buddy. Um, so the only way to really experience it is to be on our Zooms and watch it live. Um, so I just to give you the resource here, I'm microtraders.com. I chose microtraders.com because I believe micros is what people should be trading. Uh, that's the MES versus the ES. Um, I try to get everyone to scale down and let's trade MES. Let's get the system down perfectly. And then you can scale up with more and more MESs. Um, I'd rather see you trade 30 MESs than three ESs. Because with 30 MESs, you can peel them off five at a time. Um, you can't do that with uh, ES very well. So on this micro traders, I have a sneak peek little page that has some YouTube videos and sample training posts where, um, so it's basically you're getting an inside look into the Discord group. What kind of stuff do I post? What kind of videos do I post? Um, so there's a lot of kind of just sneak peek information in there. We go in depth into price action um, because the analysis of price action what that really does for you is we're not going to take every bounce level, even if it bounces, because I'm reading price action and um, very good at knowing when we should be taking longs and when we should not be taking longs or shorts, vice versa. Um, link to my YouTube channel, which is right here. Literally, I launched this in the last week or two. Um, and pumping out uh, content here. Um, this morning's video was actually fantastic. If you had to go watch one video, go watch this morning's video. Long or short, how do you know? And it's a price analysis of yesterday's trading day and um, um, helping you avoid making a trade that you shouldn't make because the writing is on the wall if you learn to read price action. You know, when to take small leverage, when to take big leverage. These two relate to each other so much, it's crazy. Um, then if you decide you want to join for a little while, I'm having the $7 seven-day trial. Um, although it says trail, doesn't it? I, I think I misspelled that. Um, so if you're interested in jumping into the Discord and the daily Zoom from what I'm about to show you, 
for seven bucks, you can do it for seven days. Um, so now let me show you more. Let me show you, let me go back where I can find an empty space I can draw for you. Here we go. How about this? So system is kind of a three-prong approach. First one up here, there's a guy on the internet with the weirdest name you'll ever see in the world. Cotton Candy T.A. is his name. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come back up here. I'm going to go to my, my YouTube channel. I'm going to click on this first video for this reason. Hello, Jared. Is that in my description, I give the man full credit. I link to his channel right here, Cotton. His information is central, and I have watched every video two or three times. Click that link and go to his channel. He's divided everything up, level one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. And if you want to learn this on your own, at your own pace, and slosh through hundreds of hours of videos, that's where you go. Um, so he is central to my system. Um, he has an edge. He is the genesis of me drawing these lines and then bouncing. But they're not the only lines I draw. Um, but he is central. Next thing is market profile. There are central lines and market profile that definitely bounces. Uh, when single prints are filled, um, IB highs and lows, overnight highs and lows, um, things like that. We draw these lines as well. So we draw, we call them cotton lines and market profile lines. And the, and the latest edition, in all honesty, um, is a guy online named ICT. And if you go through his training, especially the 2022 mentorship training, it is like the most perfect cotton setup you could ever have. These three things together create our core system. All of them you can learn for free online. Um, it's just putting them together. Uh, that'll take you a while. <laughs> um, so those are the three things with it you can learn. And like I said, I give those links right on my YouTube channel. Um, so if you just go there, you want to learn market profile. There's a guy on YouTube called Paul Osmer as well. In addition to shadow trader, uh, two fantastic market profile type of people. And so I take all of those three things together. And what we do is we draw our lines. And then all we do is we wait for price to come to our line and we play the bounce. As I said, I don't know if it's one point that's going to bounce or if it's going to bounce 10 points. Um, let me show you my trades this morning just to give you an insight into that of what trades did I call out this morning. So let's go here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of my folders. By the way, here's a great tip for you if you use TradingView and don't know this. There is a little thing down here called the object tree where you can put levels into folders and you can turn them on or off as a way to keep your life organized. So I have weekly and monthly levels in one folder. I have daily levels in another folder. Um, if, let me switch to a day time frame here. So when I click on daily, there's all my daily lines. Then here's all my monthly lines. So I have them divided out like that by folder and you can turn them on and off um, as you need. And it's a very nice way to keep your chart clean. I also have a folder called entries. When I make an entry, when I am on Zoom, I will call out that entry and um, make it known that that's the trade I took. So this morning, I'll show you the trades I took this morning. I'm on a three minute chart. So line drawn here, I'm not gonna teach you how to draw these lines. That's not the point of this, is know that that line would be drawn and take that short. And then I took this long. Um, uh, two fantastic trades, this one, actually, if you go watch that first YouTube video, I was in this trade as I was creating that YouTube video and I bring you into it because I, I'm, I see my Dom lighting up and we talk about trade management and whatnot. And that one was 10 points this morning. 
Um, then market opened. Let's go down to a one minute here because I make notes on my lines. Like what was the reason, what got me into that trade? So I have a one minute line here that also lined up with the overnight low. So price went through the overnight low. It came back to my one minute level and it matched the overnight low and went short. Then I waited and price came down and hit. It's yellow, so I, these are different time frames. So this yellow I know is a one hour and it was the wick of a one hour candle and I went long there. Um, I wish it would have had a little bit of a stronger bounce initially because I, I managed very tightly and that could have really been a fantastic trade today, but I'd love to say I was in it all the way up, but I was not, um, but went long there. And I actually, and so price consolidated up here for a little bit, came back down, hit one of my lines, and I went long there and made a little. That's all the trades I made this morning. Um, and this morning total futures points was 43 points this morning. Um, that's all MES um, points, uh, but you can easily trade ES depending on your risk tolerance and whatnot. Um, now, I know you guys are options guys. And there's a couple philosophies about this because um, some people like to use their option strategies as kind of their weekly income and scalpings their daily. You can also use higher time frames. These levels work on all time frames. When we are in chop, I was telling, oh, like this area right here. This area right here. Most people <laughs> blow accounts. They, they lose all kind of money. We do very well in chop. This right here makes us all kind of money, which by the way, I guess if you're an options trader, there's a way to make money on that. I am not the options expert and will not explore that topic. But I will say that there's all kinds of levels in this region here that we would draw. In fact, let's just do something here for fun. Oh, I'm on a 30-minute chart. That sucks. I can't really drop down as much as I would want to. But there's all kinds of levels in here. Like, here's a level. Price went away, price came back, touched and bounced, and there's your money. And this happens over and over and over. Um, we typically get, you know, let's go to a four-hour chart for a second. We typically get on a three-minute chart, and our three-minute chart is kind of our standard. Um, that's our home base. We get three to 15 trades a day. Um, typically out of the week, there's going to be one or two losing trades. You're not going to be a hundred percent, but many days our traders are a hundred percent. And, um, so let me show you this on the hourly, just a, here's an hourly chart. So an hourly is yellow for me and you'll see price came up. You took a little bit of heat, came down, um, Here's another line I would that would be on my chart. Price came up, bounced down. And on an hourly time frame, these are big bounces. You took eight points of heat, you know, I mean, that's ridiculous. But that's 200 points that it went away from this hourly line. Um, this hourly line, the first time it touched, you know, let's, let's really get picky here. You took zero heat. This is the candle I would count. You took zero heat and it bounced back down easily 14 points. Do that in options, do it in futures. But this works at all time frames, whether we're on a 30 second time frame or we're on a daily time frame. They all bounce. So um, here's a line that we would draw right here. Very likely, I would consider it tested right here, and that would have been your 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 bounce trade right there. Worked out perfectly. I'm looking for is there any more in here that I would draw that had my clearances? Uh, that one had a one candle clearance. Here we go. Well, that one right here. 
price came to it and it bounced up into small. Once again, I don't know how much it's gonna bounce. For example, so let me go back real quick and I wanna show you my entry here. Let's go back to three minute, tighten that up a little bit. So for example, this entry right here, you took three points of heat. And I typically find three points of heat that six points of heat is the maximum heat you'll take on about 95% of your trades. Six points with my system tends to be the optimal stop loss. How hey, far George. will it go? Don't know. This one went 27 points. Hey, George. Yes, sir. I wonder if I could just interject a point here. You go for it. I'll... Maybe just keep the screen where it is. So you had kind of said, hey, you know, all you options guys, you know, there's ways that you can utilize this information. And <clears throat> I just thought I'd point something out here. Go for it. So where George is pointing out his trade down the bottom with the little green circle where it says WIC, um, he was just saying that that's where he went long. Yes. It could very easily be in the options world, which many of you know me from more of in the options world uh, for the past 14 years. You know, this is a case where you can utilize this exact information for either, as George is suggesting, you know, scalping futures or uh, the ability to be able to come in here and say, oh, gee, we if we just knew that the market was headed north for a bit, a bit is, as George is saying, we don't know if it's a point or two or 10 or 20, but this is where you could go and put on a simple put credit spread and you could do it, um, you know, a couple days out, you could do it, you could do it many different ways. But I guess my point is, is that there are ways to be able to utilize this exact information with systems that you may be familiar with if you're not familiar with futures scalp trading. So, and the same thing on if you had an indication that we're heading south, well, you could put on a debit spread. Uh, so, like I said, there's 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 ways to be able to interject options in this. So, anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in, George. And here's something else that's interesting for you. So, this line here was an hourly line, bounced north. It went straight up to my 30-minute line and bounced south. So, when you're using big time frames, you just use. So if I went long here, if I was doing options, I would be eyeing what's the next bounce level at a 30 minute or higher time frame. That would have been your optimal exit because it was coming up to another major level. Does that make sense? So that would have been your optimal exit. It's not hold it and let it go forever. Yeah, and, um, and that's and what it is on this time frame, which is the yes. three minute time frame. You, you could be utilizing this, George, and we've talked about this. You know, many people, especially in the options world, have, you know, this is pretty intense. I mean, you're, you're doing this, this is, you're, you're doing this, you know, every minute. <clears throat> many people potentially listening, especially if they've been looking at other strategies and options, they used to maybe making one trade a day. <laughs> okay. And yeah. so, but the thing is, is that you can utilize this same information because instead of looking maybe at a three minute time frame because that may be just too quick for you or too intense. You could be looking at 30 minute time frames or, or even longer. And you could say, okay, here's where, you know, I might have one or two trades every day or two or something. Um, it's the same kind of thing. You can utilize the same information just on a longer time frame and make it a little bit less stressful on yourself. For example, if you just wanted to do two trades today off 30 minutes, we bounced off what we call a break level. Sorry, that's my automated system telling me. Um, could have went long off this break level, first touch break levels, very powerful trade. And your exit would have been this 30 minute level that was clearly setting right here. Could have went long here, short there, two options trades, you're out. And that's just today. I'm not cherry picking anything. That was 25 point delta, both directions. Yeah, that makes money. Fully utilizing a 30 minute time frame, so yep. you, you're not looking at this thing every second. Not no, yeah. Literally with trading views, we're actually real simple. You draw your line there, and you set an alert right here, 
and you can set an alert. Hey, when price crosses there, pop up on my phone, you know, pop up on my app, whatever. If you wanted to just do longer time frame trades, utilizing this information of where price will bounce. And one of the things I tell new guys, and it takes them about a week or two, I said, you'll swear you're looking into the matrix. No longer does price action look random. I mean, look at this, look at this perfection here. That's a level you will learn to draw and why to draw it. Price came straight up, touched it and bounced. You can't make that up. Um, so, so here's what I did is about a year ago, I took about five guys. We were in another room and I left that room because what I was doing was being more successful. What I'm, and what I'm showing you is what I was doing. And they're like, hey, where'd you go? What are you doing? And so we started our own little group. And I said, I want to teach you five guys this system. I know it's an edge. I know it's working. I also want to see if I can teach it and lead you almost like a Sherpa up the mountain, help you avoid the pitfalls, help you be prepared, um, help you look at the price action the right proper way that works for this system. And can I do that? And um, we've been very, very successful. And we finally hit a point where I said, okay, if you know anybody who should join this system, I'll open this group and um, we're gonna bring in a few new people. And that's kind of where we are right now is allowing a few people to join this small group. I'm not sure exactly how large I'm gonna let it get or not get. It's a very professional room. Um, if you've ever been in trading rooms where people were always trying to one up each other or who took the most obscure trade possible um, and made 50 points, none of that exists in our room. We're all trading the same chart with the same levels, with the same reasons for entering our trades. And so therefore it makes the experience of trading so much better because we're all trading the same thing, looking for the same things and having the discussions and, our, and mostly our discussion centers around what's next. What's the next trade? What are we looking for next based off where price is most likely to bounce? So I have this yellow line here where I took this long. Well, it's already been tested. It's been tested several times. So to be honest, these are things I'll just start deleting from my chart. I haven't been watching price. Oh, I would have taken this long right here. Bottom of an hourly fair value gap. This is combining two of the three systems uh, that I mentioned earlier. I would have so been in this long right there. No question I would have been in that long. Um, so I'm going to back up one step. As we invited new people in, and actually he's on this call, which is really cool. Thanks, Mike. Um, the last guy I allowed to join our little group before we opened it up, who's a 20-year futures trader. Um, and in fact, Tom, if you could let Mike Ab Abinidi. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mega him, panelist. Let him be able to, and I think that Eric with a K is also, is the Eric that's in my room from your group. But Mike was a 20-year futures trader. Um, going to promote Eric too? Yeah. Um, hey. So Mike hey, was George. a, hey man. So Mike was a 20-year futures trader. We met in another room and I was announcing my trades because the guy that ran the room, I wanted to get his opinion of my entries because uh, he's just a ridiculous trader. Um, and Mike kept asking me, how are, you, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? How are you entering those? And I actually turned him down the first time. I said, I'm not, I'm not here to recruit people. So I'm just going to keep my mouth closed because um, I'm not in someone else's room to recruit people. And um, then he kept at me. <laughs> and so I invited him in because I tell you what I wanted, guys. I wanted someone with 20 years of experience to come in and sniff test what I was doing. I knew I was on the verge of opening the room to new people like you guys. And I wanted him to come in and either say, you are so full of crap and you have been lucky and this is crap. And let me tell you when this system's going to fail because he had 20 years of experience trading futures. 
And uh, so, Mike, I'm going to stop right there. I'm just, I, whatever, I, I don't know what you're going to say, but um, <laughs> I, I'm going to open it Fair to enough. you because you were my final kind of sniff test. And now you've been in the room a good month. Sure, sure, absolutely. So um, George and I were taking a lot of the same uh, scalps. Um, that's what I focus on. I do do some option plays generally uh, either end of week or zero DPE. So I was curious to see um, how this uh, uh, meeting went. I wanted to sit in on it, right? So with that said, uh, George and I were doing a lot of the similar trades in similar areas. Uh, he would sometimes get a little bit better entry price than I would. Obviously, it piques the interest, right? So that's when I started pressing him. Hey, this is what I do. What do you do? Um, he finally uh, allowed me to, to sit in on the room. And what ended up happening for me is, let's say I was looking at a zone of 38.10 to 38.15, right? And, and I may um, you know, just have one order in there. Well, what, I, what I've been able to do with what, what uh, George has put together as a system is pinpoint. Uh, instead of a five point range, now I know that I should be looking at 38, 13 and a quarter, right? Uh, five points um, uh, is nothing to uh, uh, shake a stick at. And if you can um, more accurately pick your entry and exits points when you're scalping or, or whether it be options or, or futures contracts, um, every little bit counts. It goes a long way at the end of the day. Um, and, and, and I've seen it and it works. Um, and that's why I'm still here. So it laser focused your entries. Yeah. Yeah. More pinpoint uh, accuracy. Um, you know, like I said, if I was looking at a five point window, um, I was able to narrow it down to maybe, you know, uh, three to five ticks instead of five points. Um, yeah. Makes a difference, <laughs> especially when yeah. you're trading your size. Yeah. Um, Rob, so in the room, Robin asked a question. If we follow in your Zoom room, do you announce your trades as you put them on? Uh, do we have time to follow your trade? Well, one of the things I don't want to do is be a call out room. However, I do say, hey, I'm going to go long when it hits this level. It's your choice whether you do it and um, um, and I give my reasons for it. So all the trades are at your discretion. I am not a financial advisor. This is nothing but some education and community where we pop on Zoom and we're trading the same system. Um, and we trade every morning from market open to New York lunch. Um, and I say the word most days because I am a father with multiple children and there's orthodontist appointments and there's, you know, all kind of, there's life. So I prompt, so we market open to New York lunch most days. And uh, many times I'll do a little afternoon session if I'm trading in the afternoon. Um, but it's not really a trade call out service as much as it is. I, it sounds so cliche. I want to teach you to fish. I want you to not need me, but want to be in the room because of the success you're experiencing and how it helps you stay in trades. It helps you take the best trades. You're not going rogue. You're learning to be patient um, because we're analyzing price action the entire time to help you stay in those trades. Um, and that's why at the very beginning, I gave you exactly where I learned this stuff. You don't need me at all. Um, go hit the books if you want and do it. But I promise you this, if you do join my group, I'm going to pull up Discord here. I'm going to tell you what I did that none of these other guy, early guys got. Um, I put together a quick start guide right here. Whoops, I closed it. Quick start guide. And I take you through, exact, like a Sherpa, leading you up the mountain. What is everything I know you need to know to be a 90% plus trader? Where... In all honesty, I, and I consider 90%, let me clarify, as a break-even trade and a make-money trade. Um, so there's less than 8% losers um, is the other way to say it. And I tell my traders, if for some reason you're under 80% winners, we need to talk. You're mismarking something. You're doing something incorrect. But this quick start guide right here walks you through everything. Um, it's not something you're going to get through in a day or even a weekend. Um, it's the beginning of a journey. Um, and we're going up the mountain, and I walk you through it step by step by step. 
Here's the other thing that I've really launched lately that's been fantastic. It's called the practice room. So the practice room, I'll just scroll to the top. I accidentally deleted this room this weekend. So I've been rebuilding it, but the practice room is great. So I'll set you up with a scenario, ask you a question. And then when you hit spoiler, it reveals my answer. So it's a self-guided quiz and tours like this one. How many candles cleared the level? So let's talk about this, for example. I require a two candle clearance. I want two candles to have completely left this level before I consider it activated. So how many candles cleared this level? And you look at that and then you click on this, one, two. Perfect. Um, so this is a self -gu this is self-guided quizzes for you to go through things that maybe the trading day revealed something that I felt was lacking in knowledge. And I want to reinforce that to the room through these practice quizzes. And many guys go back and do this and do these over and over because it's amazing how much information is really needed. But I promise you one thing, this is the easy button. We just wait for our levels to come up to touch, drop, touch, drop, touch, drop. I mean, the other thing that I think is real valuable in here is my trade plan. How... How, once you get this information, how should you be trading? What are the strong longs to be taken? What are the strongest shorts to be taking? Um, so we go through that in depth, to be honest, because I really want to, I love teaching. This is what I do best. This is who I am. This is my DNA. And it's kind of cool that I'm able to do this. Um, Eric, aren't you that new member in my group? Uh, yes. Eric, I'm just I'm, curious. You've been a week. Am I right? Yes, that's true. I'm curious if you would have anything that you could say to your peers that are, you know, in this options group and what you have uh, observed. And as I asked this morning, do 90% of the lines bounce? Yes, absolutely. It's really surprising. <laughs> this is the best trading system I've uh, seen so far. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, I think it's, it can be very, very useful for the uh, options traders to, okay. to use the longer time frame levels. Very cool. Everybody who is not uh, completely delta neutral will find uh, an edge here, I think. Okay, very cool. Well, thank you. One more thing I want to point out in the Discord. So I, the, the quick start guide is just way valuable. It's like I said, I'm the Sherpa leading you up the mountain. The practice room is huge. And I'll tell you where your confidence comes from in this system. And it's in this end of the day chart area. And at the end of nearly every day, I will go in and draw the lines based off a three minute chart where were all of the trades based upon our system, not cherry picking every single trade. So this is actually no analysis of price action. This is just every single trade. Would If you took every trade, how many were there today? That particular day was 14 of 14 trades for me, and I did 120 MES points. Um, I strive typically for anything over 20 I'm actually happy with. <laughs> you know, if I can get 100, um, I'm elated, and anything over that is just a little ridiculous, but still good. So if you go into this end of the day, go ahead. I don't want to interrupt. I'm sorry. Um, being that we're in an options room, I don't know if it's uh, beneficial or something you want to touch on, but we do have a, a be it that other strategies room. And I did a lot of zero wow. DPE trades over the past uh, week, but particularly the past two days when we were at those those types of levels, the 30 minutes and one hours, um, you know, the break levels of the day. Um, and they, they were some really good winners. So, so here's I some thought of I'd bring that up. I don't know if that's something you want to share or not. Actually, no, thank you. So the other strategies room I had to create for Mike, um, his computer screen looks like the space shuttle. And I don't look at that many things. I use a very, very, very simple strategy. He because he has 20 years of experience, he looks at many other things and does many other trades. For example, here's some of his um, spy options he did yesterday. So he kind of runs the other strategies room. Um, I kind of consider that the PhD kind of, if you learn everything I teach you and you're really successful and and maybe you, you want to look at some other stuff, this other strategies room is kind of, I don't even post in here. I look every, well, I, I guess I do every now and then, but um, this is kind of Mike's room. <laughs> but Absolutely fantastic. I would tell you, if you join initially, don't go in here. 
Don't add anything else to your plate. You don't need anything else to your plate. All you need is this quick start guide and drawing these simple levels. Um, Tom, if you can make Toby where he could speak, Toby. Oh yeah, let's see, Toby. Yeah, he won't, he messaged me there and he wants to be able to say something. Oh, there um, he is, okay. So let me go back to the end of the day charts. So the reason why this is so powerful is because what I would like you to do once you learn to draw, draw your lines is you come into here and you see, all right, on Friday, October the 28th, he, he drew his lines. I'm going to go to Friday, October the 28th and draw them myself. Then you come and you compare them to my chart. Did you have the same levels marked? Here's a trend day up. You would have gotten one, two, three, four, five, six entries on the way up with my system on that day. But what I want you to do is to draw these levels yourself, come back and look at my chart and match your chart to my chart. Then scroll to the next chart. Oh, he did an end of the day chart for October 22nd. Go draw your lines. This day was a trend down day. We had one shorts, two shorts, three shorts, four shorts. That was the only trades that were that day Every one of them were successful. Um, so this is where your confidence comes from. I'm not cherry picking any day at all. This works every day. And the end of the day charts is where your confidence will come from because you will learn to draw your own lines and then compare them to mine. And when we are on Zoom, you are looking at my chart. What you see right now is what you see when we're on Zoom in the morning. Um, and you will see me, like I would have had this line here, right here's your short, I put it in red. Um, so, and we'll, so, and, and, and we'll just talk about all the trades. Now, it's already been one touch done, I'm out of there, doesn't need to be there. Okay, Mr. Toby, what do you want to say, sir? And Toby's actually a medical doctor and an MBA. Analyst. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I represent the uh, newbie trader trying to find his way. I have made some really effed up trades. Uh, <laughs> probably started three years ago or something. Um, and I would just say, uh, you know, you can look at those cotton videos yourself. Um, the, the guy must be some sort of genius figuring this out, but he's a horrible teacher. I've had a lot of teachers. I went through like 26th grade <laughs> with medical school and all that. Um, and George is actually a very good teacher. And so he turns it on his head and, and George is like, I don't know how many hundreds of hours he spent, but he, um, he knows it's like the back of his hand now. So just the fact that he can consolidate it for you in a quick start guide. And, um, you still have to watch a lot of the cotton videos, but it's much, much, much less painful. And uh, I don't know, like whatever he charges per month, I would say, give it like a month of a trial at least. And you'll see, you know, how useful that is. Um, just wanted to throw that in. Thanks, George. Toby was actually my very first guy. I had to convince him. I had to beg him. Like, dude, look at this. Um, it took months, actually, to get him. I said, like, I said George, how many on, hours man. do I really need to do? He's like 40 to 80. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I slowly hacked away at it. And uh, I know I did, like, at least 50, 60 hours. And, um, but it was so painful. So now that he has a quick start guide, I'm like, oh man, I wish he had that when I started. <laughs> I know, I know. I had to put it together though, if I'm gonna let new people come into the room because back before they had to do like 50 hours of watching before I would take them to the next step. And now I'll guide you through that and help make it easier. So are there any other questions? Dave, do you have anything to add? I'm willing to answer absolutely anything. Um. I can't teach it to you here because you're not going to learn it in two minutes, but you will learn to draw these lines and price does bounce off them 90% of the time. Yeah, maybe George, I can just kind of uh, add into what Toby just said. Um, <clears throat> from the standpoint of going through, you know, years and years of, uh, I didn't go to through medical school, but definitely had my share of uh, uh, undergrad and grad and all those kind of years of schooling and then many years of schooling, learning options and all that kind of stuff. And when it comes to, you know, just trying to learn stuff by actually going through the cotton videos, you know, like Toby said, it's painful. Um, you know, George put in his time watching him two or three times. It's, it's, um, it'll give you a tremendous headaches and it'll, it'll be, it's very difficult to go through. When George actually ended up 
while he was doing all that, he actually made videos, made tons of notes, which actually ended up being his study guide for now yeah. for everybody. Yeah, it's true. It's, a, it's an amazing way people used to say to me in the past uh, about about teaching option stuff is they said, wow, Dave, you made it very, you know, clean, you know, clear, crisp. And I was like, wow, that sounds familiar. That's like what how George describes his trades, you know, clean, clear, and crisp to get into these things. Mm -hmm. And when if you go and actually join up, it, it allows you to be able to go and to see all of the videos and all the various things that George has done, which makes your life so much easier. I, I continually go back and review all of them because it's great refreshers and it, it gives you the, the chance of doing those, um, you know, when you say, well, gee, you know, I haven't done this particular trade in a while or I need a refresher. Like what does a break level mean? Or what does a hold level mean? Or what does an origin mean? Well, if you had to go back into cotton, good luck. You would have had to have this amazing note-taking system, which George did uh, to his credit. Um, yeah. But now he's provided that for everybody. So it's just made life so much easier to actually go in and check things. So that, that's just, a, uh, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for anybody to join in. I would uh, welcome everyone. And actually it's the second or third thing in the quick start guide, take notes. Um, take screenshots, copy links to videos, and timestamp them. Um, I show you how to do that in the quick start guide if you don't know how to timestamp the videos. That way, if you said, oh, that was a great explanation of this, well, timestamp it. So when you go click it again, it goes right to the 10 minutes and 42 seconds where that explanation occurs that you really enjoyed. So someone anonymous said, is this system for MES or ES futures only? Heck no. It works across all of them. All symbols, fact, all cotton, time frames, right? Yeah. In fact, Cotton teaches this off Bitcoin. Um, so all of his examples would be on Bitcoin. Um, but dude, we've I don't trade anything else. I've tried to trade other things. Um, but you can go in here and draw these lines on oil, <laughs> on gold, on silver, on and what it is, it's people defending price at specific areas. And we typically get to take advantage of the retail traders' errors. For example, um, you know, one thing that you kind of have to get used to, you know, if this white candle came right up here right now, really strong and hit this level, that's a great short. You got to be willing to go short on an up candle and go long on a down candle. Um, um, so, but, that's why I recommend you, first of all, forget even MES, paper trade. <laughs> um, and then if even if you don't want to risk real capital, capital, there's all kinds of futures prop trading firms that you can sign up for their programs. And um, well, let's see what happens here. <laughs> let's see what happens at this line. Watch this be the one that blows through at 50 points north, which happens. So let's see what happens here. Um, that was only a, there we go. It didn't tag it exactly, but it was within two ticks. I consider within three ticks of any level tested. Um, some people want to be greedy and say, hey, I'm gonna, I want it to touch that line before I get in it. I typically front run these front sides. There's front sides, there's back sides. Front sides, I typically front run three ticks to a point. Um, I would have definitely been entered there. I would have, My stop would now be 50% of the way uh, between my entry and where price is now. I will follow it at 50% to give it room to run. And then you will learn in my room, let's say price did a really strong run through here. Well, what we're going to do, I'm not going to get into it here, but um, we will build protection layers, which is where pretend price was down here. Then price started coming back. Well, I know price is going to bounce off that. So my stop should be up here because I have a protection layer now. And that's how we stay in 10, 20, 30, 40, and plus point trades 
because we build those protection layers. And right there, I would have been out at 50%. So right there would have probably gotten me out. No big deal. I'm waiting hey, for my next trade. Hey, hey, George. Delete this line. Yes. I think a key thing is if you could just keep that line in there for a second. Okay. I think the key thing to show people is that, you know, you drew that line a long time ago. Yeah. So, so the point being is that it wasn't like you just had to be there at that time. You could have had something in there, an alert that said, hey, when as soon as we get up to 38, you know, 16 or something, hey, be on alert. You're getting close to an entry. Yep. And none of these trades are surprises. All of these trades are there waiting for price to get there. All I'm doing now, so it bounced off here. Most likely price is going to return down to here. And it's going to bounce off this line. Oh, and this would have been the optimal exit because this is where price would bounce it back into my face. Doesn't mean it's going to get here, but if it gets here, it's probably going to bounce. If I could interject, um, I don't know if George highlighted it yet, but um, not only does he, uh, you know, sell you the uh, cotton videos in a, a compacted form that's digestible, but um, he layers in this other stuff he's learned. He's like he, he's as intense about other trading systems as he is about cotton. So he's layered in the fair value gap thing, which that level you just wrote is that right in the middle of a yep. fair value gap. That's probably yep. one of the reasons uh, he drew it there. And um, some other things, you know, overnight highs and lows and break levels, they're all kind of layered in so that you're looking for trades that have, you know, confluence like more than one of these at a time uh, to give it a lot more uh, probability of, of being a winner. There you go, the, also the VBAP, forgot about that. But, um, yeah, all those, there's about- so I was gonna add things. one final thing. The only other indicator I have on my chart, I have VWAP and what's called the 144 moving average on a one minute chart. These are the only indicators I, I have on my chart. And to be honest, I remove them as quickly as I can because I hate the way my chart looks with them on there. I just know, okay, we're, we're coming up over the VWAP, we're over the 144, we're over the opening. What does that tell me? We have now bounced off this level which to me opens the door for further movement north. So that's the kind of stuff you get on the Zoom too is where we discuss that price analysis. But to answer the question, what other indicators do I use? Those are it. Um, I mean, it shows I have 20 here, but these are different. Like I turn on, where's half back on the day? There's a sector performance thing, which I typically ignore. Um, so there's some other little tools I use from time to time. But what you see on my chart right here, this is what I trade. So George, if somebody was new and signed up today, what would their path for learning be? What would you oh, recommend? Come right over here. Come to the trading floor and say hi. I'll try to welcome you. Um, and then come down to Quick Start Guide. And in the Quick Start Guide, I, in all of these channels here, there's no way for you to leave a comment or something because I try to keep them clean. So I, I just created this the other day. Um, where if you have a question about the quick start guide, this very first one called quick start questions <laughs> this is where you should go and ask those questions. Um, and then read this first, scroll to the top, read it. Then I beg you to take notes. I do not give you my notes. Really, this quick start guide is my notes. Um, I teach you how to timestamp a video so that you can go back later and review it. Then I go through the core strategy roadmap kind of what I was talking to you earlier, where, hey, this is cotton plus market profile plus ICT, all brought together. The master's level program is what I called Mike's room, the other strategies. Um, and I'll tell you why I think our system works. I wrote this little post. Why does this work? Do you know why? Because even Cotton himself, with all of his money, could not create an indicator. It requires thinking. It requires some analysis. And he tried his butt off, because I promise you, if he could sell an indicator, that's he would be all over it. Um, you can't create an indicator. Then if you've never traded futures, I give you some insight into, into that world. What does that look like? Because this is not dollars, these are points. You know, it goes from 38.13 to 38.14. Well, that moved one point, depending on which contract you trade. Then it translates to dollars how to set up your trading view. So I go through everything. Why I recommend Trade of Eight, you can do whatever you want, but Trade of Eight is really 
a sweet platform to use for this trading. Pre-market checklist, just like a pilot. You don't take off without doing some pre-market stuff. I give you exactly what I do before the day starts. And this one is so important. I can't stress it enough. When not to trade. Oh my gosh. If you just knew when not to trade, you would save yourself so much heartache. And in fact, if you go to my YouTube channel and you look at that last video I just posted, long or short, how do I know? That's part of when not to trade. So here we go. We just go all through it, guys. I mean, it's all there. I really, what I did is, is I, in, I spent a full day on a Saturday and I put this together through my notes. Um, I recorded videos. I did all kinds of stuff. So although I put it together in a single day, it's going to take you more than a single day. It usually takes new people one week before they go, okay, I'm really glad I'm in this room. And by week two, I'm never leaving um, because this is it. And you will have to relearn old things that you do that you no longer need to do, that you have used as a handicap that you no longer need to do. And you have to untrain some of that. Um, so that's where it would start. George, can I inter interject something? Please. Uh, so for some of you guys out there, or men or men or women, whoever may be on today, um, one of the things that I really wanted to see, and because my last name being Thomas and being a true doubting Thomas, um, I, you know, I looked at Cotton originally and I said, you know, how did, how did he come up with this? You know, and like, okay, George has drawn all these levels and all these different things, but some people might say, okay, but what's the, you know, where's this thing based from? And I think, you know, on, on YouTube, on Cotton's website, he's got one video that basically says, I think it's, how I re-engineered the stock market or something like that. I don't know, maybe you could show that, George. Yeah, but, that's what um, it's called. It's about a 45-minute video that Cotton put together about how he went back to like the, 18, the, the late 1800s in the stock market to basically prove out his system to try to figure out what was going on. And it's that really amazed me to be able to see him looking at a chart like George has got up on the screen right now. And it would have been like a yearly chart. And it would have been like, oh, gee, look, in 1880, here's where the stock market was. And then in two years or three years or five years or 10 years, and it literally bounced in the appropriate places. And it was like, oh, my gosh, this thing works on any level, whether it be 15 second, 30 second, three minute, day, you know, four hour, day, weekly, month. It doesn't matter because he somehow re-engineered it. And the only thing that you know we are doing is basically taking that, and unfortunately, his ability to be able to educate you on it uh, is is pretty pretty tough. Um, and what George has done has been able to, you know, package it into something that is actually <laughs> very reasonable and very clean and clear and crisp as far as explaining how this thing works. So, but if anybody wants to take forty five minutes and go look at the video to say. Okay, where's the genesis of all this coming from? It's, it's that's where it's from. You know, I have a buddy of mine. He works for a, some uh, chip maker kind of company, and um, he'll every now and then message me. He says, "Hey, where's my stock going to bounce next?" So to kind of talk, where is this system only for ES or MES? The answer is no. It's also stocks as well, and. He just texted me, so that's, that's what made me think about it. I'm like, okay, when price gets to this number, it's probably going to bounce the opposite direction. Um, so it's kind of funny. All right, so guys, there's your another bounce. Right to the level, bounce. I like that this is live instead of me doing, I mean, you know, that had a three-point bounce. You'd have a point and a half for sure. Your stop would be at a point and a half, in my opinion. Um, and if it keeps going, great. If it comes back and gets you out a point and a half, you made a point and a half, delete the line, draw your next line. We do that all day long, repeat and, and rinse. West rinse, repeat, right? So like I said, so that bounced. Who knew, who knew how far it was going to bounce? I don't know the answer, but that's why I followed it at 50%. And if it does that, no problem. That's all I needed was that little bounce.
Now that's a good way to end a webinar. Absolutely. So we usually go about an hour and we're almost there. So Perfect. is there anything you want to uh, mention before we wrap it up? Like a URL people should go to if they want to learn more? You know, let me pull that back up. Maybe microstrader.com? Yeah, it's microstrader.com is all. Um, and for a while, I mean, I'm not going to get rich if you join. I'm not going to be poor if you don't join. But under the join our community, I do have this little $7 for seven days. That's trail. I'm going to go back and fix that <laughs> instead of trial. And then after the seventh day, they'll charge you the 60 bucks a month. With By the end of the year, I'm going to have this 200 a month and uh, you will be locked in at 60. Um, so if you want to get on board, great. You have the seven day trail. Yeah, you got a seven day trail. I am the Sherpa <laughs> leading you up the trail. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Um, Very funny. And, um, and as I said, if you wanted to um, learn it on your own and go that way, I wanted to give you that resource as well. Just go to any of my videos. Um, and when you click it, click my description here, and I give full credit where those things come from. Um, and right here is cotton. And there you go. So if you want to journey it yourself and climb the mountain, that's how you, that's where you start. If you want to have a guided tour, I'm your guy. Yeah, you can walk up the mountain or take George's train. <laughs> so let's make sure there's in, no more questions. See, there's I don't a, see any. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, I guess we're done. All right. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Thanks, George. Really appreciate it. And um, let me know if you need any help with your website or forms or anything. Yeah, you're awesome. like I've been doing that a long, long time. Dave can attest to that, right? Dave and I go back a long way. I think we've known each other since uh, before 2010. It's and, been a while. And Tom has joined us on a couple of Zooms. So maybe one day when life is not so busy, you can be jump on a little bit more too. Yeah, I'm running another room at the same time and then running meetings, running a bit. Yeah, it's, it's just a time thing, but I really love what you're doing. So I, I hope to spend more time with you guys and uh, participate more. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate my members stop trading for an hour to come on here and give some support. So thank you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you, Mike, Toby, and uh, Eric is part of our community already, but yeah. always nice to meet new people and um, yeah. A uh, great session. Really appreciate you all, all of you coming and uh, sharing what you're doing. Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks, everyone. We will see you next time. Thanks.